Oculus Connect 6 or OC6 has just concluded and boy oh boy are there some exciting announcements in there. Let's get into it. Hey there folks, welcome back to the Tower Tech. I'm Michael and there have been some genuinely exciting announcements at Oculus Connect 6. The first of which is Oculus Link. Now Oculus released the Rift S and the Quest a couple of months ago, distinctly separate uh, propositions, the Rift S being the successor, the spiritual successor to the Rift, the Quest being a standalone device, the Rift being the PC tethered device. Now that has all been turned on its head. Uh, via a USB-C cable, you're going to be able to connect your Quest to your PC. You're gonna be able to drive Rift S content uh, it effectively completely obsoletes the Rift S uh, overnight so far as I can see. Remembering, of course, as well that the, the Quest has uh, an OLED screen, uh, which the Rift S doesn't. It's got a higher resolution at uh, 1440 by 1600 per eye. The Rift S has only got 1280 by 1440. Um, you've also got... Um, you know, ju just the fact that it's a standalone device that can now tether to your PC as well. Now, clearly the Rift S has got a slightly higher refresh rate at 80 hertz, and I do think that's noticeable. The 72 hertz um, is a little low for my taste, particularly when you've come off the index and gone back to it. That really is quite noticeable. Um, but they've obsoleted the Rift S, let alone the HTC... Uh, Cosmos that was teased at having mobile connectivity, which it doesn't, was speculated at having a standalone capability, which it doesn't. It's just a PC tethered, I say just, just a PC tethered uh, headset. And it itself is broadly the same resolution as the Quest, slightly higher at 1440 by 1700. It does have that 90 hertz, has this kind of funky modular design thing and the inside out tracking but the oculus cto has actually said that the the quest the quest screens can run at 90 hertz wait what they're just knocking it out of the ballpark with this now there's a very likely chance that they won't bunk this up to 90 hertz uh, the cto went on to say that it would avoid potentially avoid the fcc uh, rating for the Quest, um, but at $400, affording a PC tethering capability, a standalone capability, inside out tracking, IPD adjust adjustment, wow, this iterative process to releasing software updates that I guess you'd expect from a modern software house, it's just blowing it out of the ballpark. The CTO did say that you'd expect a kind of mobile gaming type experience and that Effectively, the PC streams video content to the Quest device in a compressed format, so there's some lag associated, particularly with lots of movement. But, you know, let's consider this uh, their minimum viable product, an early release that's gone out, and we can only expect that to get better moving forward. And not content at just... Uh, completely staggering everybody with the Link announcement. They've also gone on to announce that uh, they, they're introducing hand tracking. So the placement, I, you know, in the four corners of the Quest really is uh, well positioned for this. It's going to look directly at your hands, particularly the bottom two. Um, and the Qualcomm processor has it, got some acceleration in there that, that actually makes this quite quite a good thing for the for you to do on that platform so um you know really getting the immersion up breaking us from the hardware constraint of controllers and complete immersion we saw this some time ago uh with some add-on devices that you could buy um didn't really go uh kind of mainstream and widespread but this really is a phenomenal announcement and something I'm really looking forward to. So the, the Oculus Link is launching in November. And that's just round the corner. We're talking about five, six weeks until, until we start to see that released. The hand tracking a bit later on in the early part of 2020. Um, but really Oculus doing 
a bunch of unique, unique things on the Quest that nobody else is doing, standalone device, plus all the other things that we've talked about, uh, in what really is quite an economical package, you know, $400, 400 UK pounds, um, the HTC uh, uh, Cosmos coming in, uh, I think at 699 um, Now, you know, the index, I think, is still standing out with that very, very high refresh rate capability at 120 hertz, 144 hertz, unique controllers as well, that are pressure sensitive and individual finger tracking, albeit that individual finger tracking may seem slightly less impressive now. Um, but, you know, Quest, really a threat to all of them at this stage. A few E and $20 million spent on the Oculus store on quest purchases alone in two months ha huh, you got to give it to oculus so there we go guys really exciting announcements at oc6 uh really hotting up uh, the competition in the vr space which is nothing but good news for us as consumers uh please like share and subscribe as always i hope you're really well wherever in the world you are and i will see you in my next one <laughs>